Bobby Land coming at you with another video. I have a, a demonstration that I'm going to do today with uh, our laptop and, and another laptop here. Uh, not trying to actually compare laptops at all. Uh, what I'm actually going to do is, is compare software cybersecurity versus hardware cybersecurity. And, and show you all and hopefully teach you all where hardware cybersecurity is actually allowing you to be proactive instead of reactive like software based. Now I know there's a lot of people out there that are gonna say stuff such as, oh, you know, we're developing this new AI and this, that, and the other, and you know, blah, blah, blah. Well, and they probably have a CISSP or a Security Plus or some other kind of security certification that tells you on paper that they're really good. Well, I'm not trying to knock any of those certifications either. I just, I've ran into a couple of those people that that don't want to ever understand how being proactive and using hardware that software cannot change actually allows you to be more defensive when it comes to cyber attacks and allows you to recover quickly even and that's some uh, DOD regulations there must be able to defend against and recover quickly so guys what I'm going to do is I've got a regular hard drive here with Windows 10 installed on it and I have uh, one of our uh, hardware devices with Windows 10 installed on it. I'm going to actually install them in the camera, or into, not the camera, into the uh, computers here. And I'll, I will actually start the timer here in just a second and, and let you see where nothing is going to cut any video edits or anything here. I'm going to take the virus, the zero day attack virus that we have put on there. And the reason why we've done a zero day is because software cannot detect zero days. If it doesn't understand the, the code or the algorithm or, or whatever is the hash that the, the zero day or that the virus or malware is using, it can identify it. So therefore it doesn't know it's been attacked. And that's why they call them zero days. So that when it actually is found, sometimes months later, then they can actually start going, oh, what all has it been doing? And how do we get rid of it? And then even when they think they've gotten rid of it, you still don't know for sure because it takes even more analysis and investigation to find out what it was doing. So anyway, guys, I'm rambling enough. Let's go ahead and get this demo started. I'm going to push start here. Got the timer going there and I'm going to leave this live the whole time. Like I said, so no video edits so that you can see everything is being done real time. I'm going to actually install... <coughs> the drives and everything right here in front of you so that you understand and, and see that everything is being done truly right here in front of you. I'm not hiding anything. Got a regular hard drive installed into a regular everyday computer here. Plug the power up. Bring this laptop up and, and get it going. Well, guys, I'm gonna walk around behind the camera here so I don't get too close in front of it. <clears throat> All right. And we're going to take our laptop and uh, for for demonstration purposes, I, I'm not going to put the screws back in because it just takes too long for right now. We're going to go ahead and get the device hooked up. Now what I'm hooking up here is the, uh, the remote display and this is what tells us the status of it. There's some LEDs here and, and it, that's where we put our key that we make our changes at. So I'm just hooking this up to the device here and I'm going to install the hardware. Alright, so now we've got that device in the computer. Plug the power cable up just in case. All right. <clears throat> I'll get this machine going here. Now guys, on, on this little bitty, bitty thumb drive here, and I hope you all can see this, this is what I have, what, what we've called the bad blood virus. Or it's, a, it's basically gonna end up denying the user complete access to the computer. It's gonna take away the mouse rights, the keyboard, you're gonna see the mouse is gonna be going around going to change the, the desktop to a uh, nefarious desktop uh, background so you know kind of let you know that we've been there so now guys there's one thing I want to say about this all right this is in-house only no I'm not going to give you a copy of it if you ask for it this has only been developed for for demonstration purposes only all right so don't ask for it I've already had lots of people ask for this during demos I'm not giving it to them I did allow some uh certain uh, agencies to test it because they wanted to see what was going on so anyway guys here we are we're we've got both machines we're logged in timer's still been going the time i'm talking i'm gonna 
I'm going to actually log into each of them. We've made the passwords really simple on them for demonstration purposes so that we can, we can get logged in. This one's a software admin. This one's our machine. Um, since our machine booted fast and first, I'm going to go ahead and copy the, uh, the file from the, the thumb drive here, or the USB drive. I'm going to drag it just out to the desktop there. All right. Now I'm going to make sure I eject my thumb drive so that I don't actually end up running it because I've done that before. All right. Now I'm going to plug it into this machine. Let's open it over here. All right. And then I'm going to drag it out to the desktop. All right. Guys, and I hope I'm not blocking too much of your view or, or you can you can see the uh, the thing, the, uh, the timer's still there. All right, guys. So I've now got this on here. I'm gonna put this over here out of the way. I'm gonna get down here and hopefully you can see. So I have, I have this file here, all right? So let me show you that it's, it's actually the same thing. Taylor Swift, Bad Blood, featuring Kendrick Lamar, all right? So I'm gonna highlight it on each one of these laptops. All right, and just, just to make sure that, that these start at the same time, I'm gonna hey, come over here. All right, so we get out of the way and I'm gonna hit enter, all right? So now that it's running, oh man, come on now. All right, so I don't know why that stopped. Anyway, so guys, hopefully you can see stuff still flashing. I was talking. So what's happened is now you can see the mouse is moving all crazy and everything. You have no control over anything. I can't do anything to these laptops. It, they're, they're completely taken over. They're, they're completely disabled. I can't do anything, all right? The only way to get out of this is to press and hold the power button, okay? So we shut the computers down. Now what you're gonna notice when I boot these back up is the difference between a software protected machine and a true hardware protected machine. Whereas we were being proactive and anticipating something coming and not letting anything make changes to our computer via hardware, the software didn't know that anything was coming because it's looking through this database of known things. So now let's, uh, let's cut both these computers back on and we're gonna let them boot up. Well, that was quick. So I don't think, oh, it didn't, it didn't actually shut down all the way. So I'm going to have to kill it. Let's see here. Let's do that. Let's see, it's already causing problems on this machine. So hopefully it'll, it'll boot up normal here. Well, it's not going to boot up normal. I can tell you that, but I will let it boot up. I'm going to log into it and you're going to notice how just a quick reboot recovered from that attack on a hardware protected machine versus a machine that was software protected you're going to notice that everything is still the same over there the the desktop is going to be changed it's going to be back over control you're going to lose the mouse again that is because that virus attacks the master boot record and it stays inside of that computer There's, the only way to get rid of it is to format that drive my machine here is working fine you can see that that one is still messed up. As a matter of fact, we're, it's, it, we're even getting some other things going on there. So guys, that right there within just a few minutes, and hopefully you see that, that the timer never stopped or anything, that machine is completely gone again. I'm gonna come over here and I'm, well, I forgot I can't move the mouse. So I'm gonna, gonna shut it down again. All right, as soon as it shuts down, I'm gonna reboot it back up and see over here, we're going to keep working. We can do whatever we want. We can go to, you know, get on the internet, go to Google, whatever you want. This machine recovered in just a few seconds and we're using it. Now, as a company, guys, how much money would that save you as a, as a look at this. So that machine's not even working correctly. See, the mouse is still moving around. So like, and I already know guys, I've got to take this drive out and format it and, and completely rebuild it in order to duplicate this again. So, you know, guys, I, I appreciate you watching this video and taking the time to actually see the difference between a hardware protected computer and a software protected computer. Once again, I am not knocking this, this brand. I actually really, really like this laptop, obviously, because I have it. 
The only difference is, is I would actually install one of my devices into this laptop to make it towards as reliable as this one. I don't know about you guys, but hardware seems to win for me. Hey, if you like what I'm doing here, guys, please hit that subscribe button, mash that like button, guys. Give me a comment in the video below or in the comment section below. Guys, and just, just keep it up and, you know, tinker with your laptops and your computers and, and learn how they work. And if any of you are interested in doing this, I'll put a, a link to the, the website down below, get, getting a computer, one of our computers, or even just our device. I'll put a, a, a link in the description below. <laughs> Guys, I appreciate you watching my video. I hope you all have a great rest of your weekend. And until the next one. Destruction.